Pedica Heard here, and in this chapter we're looking specifically at moisture content using test method T120. Tony Bretringer, Central Laboratory Manager, Roads, Pavement and Geotechnical Engineering with the Roads and Maritime Services. Now, asking the obvious tone, when it comes to moisture content, what are we specifically trying to determine? We're looking to determine the exact moisture content of road construction materials as a percentage of its dry mass. And we do this by drying in an oven? Yes, the oven is a convectional laboratory drying oven that is temperature controlled to 105 to 110 degrees C. The better ovens are fan forced. And how is this test conducted? As we can see here, the first requirement is to record the mass of a clean dry oven proof container. We then have to obtain a subsample that is representative of the sample we need the moisture content of. This is very important, otherwise the moisture content numbers do not relate to the reason we need the data. So Tony, is there a particular size we need in order to determine the moisture content? Definitely. The size of the moisture content or MC subsample is determined by the nominal size of the material. T105 lists the three different mass sizes. We have the mass of the container, so now we place the MC material in it and here it is a good idea to break this material into smaller pieces especially if it's a clay material. This helps drying quicker. Next we weigh and record the mass of the container with the material and place it in the oven. Does it take very long to obtain a result? The material must stay in the oven for at least 16 hours and then weighed to determine constant mass. Constant mass? Now this is a term I'm not familiar with. Constant mass means we are sure that the material has dried out to a substantially zero moisture content. We do that by taking the dish out of the oven, allowing it to cool and recording the mass. Then we put it back into the oven for at least another hour at operating temperature and then we repeat the cooling and weighing process again. How do we know constant mass has been achieved? Once we have successive weighings that differ by no more than 0.1% of the initial wet mass, we have finished our moisture content test. So what kind of things do we need to look out for? There are a couple of things, and the main one is we have to be very careful not to lose any material after we have weighed our initial wet mass. Also, some materials that have organic material or crystalline moisture, such as gypsums, must be dried in an oven at a lower temperature, no more than 80 degrees C.